Hello one and all, welcome to Seeing Through Glass. Now at the beginning of this year, I made a video announcing that I bought a Citroen C4 WRC replica rally car for the Team Galag Snow Tour. Well, I had so much fun in the little car that at the end of that video, and in a garage update a few weeks later, I said I was gonna look into the possibilities of transforming that car into a true thoroughbred rally machine. It's been a couple of months now and I've spoken to almost every single expert you could imagine. Mechanics, engineers, rally teams, rally drivers. And it seems as though that C4 is just not the right car for a rally project. This is too complicated, too long-winded, too expensive to do things like an all-wheel drive conversion and put a sequential gearbox in and change the engine in and out. I feel like it's, it's kind of in its perfect form right now, that little C4. It's stripped out, it's hardcore, it's great on-road and off-road, and it's just so much fun. So it is now time for me to part ways with it. So I've put a link to the eBay listing below. It is for sale. Uh, just to be completely transparent with you, I bought it for 10 grand. I've put it up for a little bit less than that because I want someone to grab it and enjoy it like I did. Now in that garage update video I did say that if I couldn't transform the C4 into a rally machine that I would find another car which I could transform into a rally machine or, or just a rally car in general because I've become obsessed by the idea of now owning a sort of hardcore rally or rally inspired car. I think I think a full-on rally car but anyway you find me down at Furlonger. This place always has the most outrageous cars lying around. I mean you've probably spotted half of them behind me already. There's even more amazing stuff inside but let's not get distracted because I'm here for a specific purpose. If you were to ask me what my dream project rally car would be I would of course say a Ferrari rally car. Duh! Whilst I'm not going to be transforming my 360 anytime soon some of you may know that back in the day Ferrari themselves actually made a rally car and Furlonger currently have a Ferrari rally car for sale. I'm already obsessed, but let's kick things off with a bit of a history lesson. Back in the late 70s, Ferrari were only really competing in Formula One, but rallying was getting so popular that I assume Ferrari went, oh, it must get involved with this rally. So they went to Michelotto, who were specialists in race car preparation. And they said, if we give you some 308s and a bit of our expertise and knowledge, can you build us some rally cars? And Michelotto went, yeah, I think we can. And, and the 308 rally was born and by heck was it a rally car because from day one this thing was quick and competitive by the early 80s it was right up there kind of competing for some of the most prestigious rallies in Europe it even got a podium at a WRC event so much was the success that Ferrari went hold on a second let's let's now do the Grupa B they got a little bit overexcited but a bit like Porsche with the 959 Ferrari were kind of late to the party with the whole Group B thing so when Group B got cancelled in 1986 for being too dangerous Ferrari had to bin off their project. However, some of the research and development did end up in the 288 GTO and the F40, like the one we were stood in front of before. So can't really knock that attempt, I suppose. Anyway, this car, whilst niche, whilst rare, while some of you may not know it existed, it's actually fairly significant in Ferrari's history, which means the originals are kind of extortionately expensive. There's only a handful left and they are multiple millions. This one, the car currently for sale at Furlonger, a bit more of an attractive proposition to someone like me because it, like my C4 WRC, is a recreation. But this car is a fully fledged rally car. It has FIA papers, it is ready to go, ready to compete. It's hardcore, it's beautiful, it's a Ferrari. As I say, I think I'm in love. Right, I'm in, I think. Uh, we've come to a sort of a truck park, like a kind of sort of, well, yeah, I think that's the only way to describe it, uh, because Matt said that I can have a go in this thing, which I'm so excited about. Um, just gives me a chance to, yeah, just experience it in some way. Wow, these seats are intense, huh? Yeah, about right size, yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're very thin on the hips. Pull that gold clip back. Yeah. Obviously, so make sure. There we go. Is that on? It's in. <laughs> yeah? Okay, so, oh, it's a little bit, I'm a little bit lanky for it, but that'll, that'll be all right. So I put it in neutral, but make sure you get your foot on the brake, because obviously it's gonna... Is that handbrake active? Fly off, so it doesn't Ooh, work okay. like that, you have to... Sure. So contacto, so... Contacto. Now I'll give it six good pumps of petrol. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. And then if you give it half throttle and hit the black button below contact button. <laughs> It was a bit more than half throttle. <laughs> right. Okay, good sir. Wish me luck. Don't crash it. I won't. <laughs> now we're moving. There are a lot of trucks around, so I've got to be a bit careful, but oh yes, this thing is so cool. I mean, I fell in love with the concept of that hardcore C4 WRC, but that was a road car. This is a proper, proper rally car. As Matt mentioned, it has all the papers to go and take part in some pretty major events, and it's quite bumpy out here. Let's See if I can change gear, there we go, I've done that all right. There's something about being in a Ferrari, but a Ferrari rally car, and here's a bit of a straight line. Super hard, but the steering actually, ooh, obviously, no power steering. Uh, <laughs> it's, I mean, I'm driving around a car park, I feel it a bit, but I don't really care because this is just an unbelievably cool car. Just there we go. Oh. Yes, now let's be realistic probably a little bit, a little bit out of my sort of budget when it comes to what my next rally car would be. We're going from a 10 grand C4 to a multiple hundreds of thousands. But could I find a 308 and kind of do my own recreation? It wouldn't be maybe to these lengths, but I feel like I could do something. I'm gonna pull over and tell Matt I'm buying it. Watch the expression on his face. He's gonna be so excited. I'm buying it. You're really I'm buying it. <laughs> okay, should we go and do some photos in that cool, like, yeah? yeah. Oh. <laughs> Like today, like, 
would I be able to do it for 200 grand or is it going to cost me a, a bomb? Like? I think it probably cost you there or thereabouts, probably cost you a little, it depends how far you go Sam, but okay. you know, a good 308, left hand drive, car brand, you know, drive some cars going to be 70,000 ish and then you know it's easily 150 grand to do it so it's very more cost effective to buy a re one done like this. Sure. Like a fun rally car for the road, you haven't got to spend that sort of money. Yeah, you, know, you could just buy a 308 and modify it and have it as a bit of a rally car. But I think the whole point of having the car though, is actually doing some events because that's yeah, so I, that's fun, exactly it. it. I think I need to work out whether I'm, I'm just having a toy to fly around on the snow touring or to actually have something that I can, com I can compete in. Yeah, I'll that's agree. something only I can answer, I suppose. Anyway, mate, thank you so much because, yeah, I mean, it's not every day gets to drive a Ferrari rally car. I mean, you do, but well, I don't me. drive one every day, yeah. I don't come to work in it. I love it. I think it's absolutely awesome. We're going to park it up, do some more photos, and uh, I will reflect on my time with this beast. Wow, it's hot, isn't it? Yeah, it's, I'll know. I need some aircon. Yeah. No, there it is, look. That's not aircon, mate. That's a bit of plastic. Yeah, but that, that lets that's cold, valley aircon. That lets it? cold air in. Okay. Well, the weather looks like it's turning, so I feel like we got back just in time. I have to say a huge thanks to Matt and Furlonger for letting me have a go in this thing because it is currently for sale, and you know, it's probably not supposed to be going just on blips up and down the dual carriageway but they said yeah of course we'll let you have a bit of a bit of a test drive oh, i think they were hopeful that maybe i'd buy it but realistically it's probably a little bit of a stretch i think what i am intrigued by is the thought of maybe looking at a sort of more of a classic rally car something 60s or 70s a few years ago i was really keen to buy an actual classic kind of road car it didn't quite happen for me at the time and obviously drive the world took precedence but now I'm back and I'm looking down this route could I go old is old still gold I don't really know um, but yes absolutely special whilst this isn't the real deal it's still got a certain flair certain ambiance to it and I would dream of doing something like the Torto the Mila Mila in a car like this one day if those events ever happen because hashtag coronavirus but anyway yes I feel like next up in the kind of project rally series i need to go and check out something more obvious like a mitsubishi evo or subaru and pretzel and yeah just keep experimenting keep looking at the different ways that i could end up with a rally car or at least a car that i could transform into a rally car i hope you've enjoyed today's video if you are interested in the c4 wrc don't forget link to the ebay listing below wow the wind is really picking up uh, make sure you stay subscribed for plenty more videos to come